Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. And today's question was sent in from Mike from Queens who says, July 4th is coming up. What wines do you recommend that I serve my guests at the barbecue? And uh, like uh, many holidays, you know, wine and food are, are, are enjoyed uh, on July 4th and uh, probably outdoors. Uh, barbecue uh, has a kind of a specific uh, profile in terms of its taste, so you, you're going to need wines that are going to be pronounced. But let's, let's start with the white wines. I think a, uh, a nice light bubbler, sparkling wine like a Prosecco would be a, a nice way to get your guests going. Um, uh, lighter um, uh, uh, styles of white wine like Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc, I think, are, are also uh, real crowd pleasers. Um, rosés during the summer are always enjoyed. Uh, I don't know why, mostly during the summer, but at least in the United States. Uh, rosés are enjoyed, I think, mostly during the summer, and they're, they're pretty to look at, and they're, they're chilled. And uh, for the food, you know, you need that. That's where I'll focus most of this conversation. Um, you know, barbecue is, is usually kind of uh, sweet or spicy, or it's kind of strong, pronounced, grilled flavors. So I look for grapes that, that can match up to the kind of the strength of the food itself. So I look at uh, Grenache, for example, from Spain. I think you're going to find a lot of really nice uh, barbecue wines from Spain um, that, that will, will kind of complement your food. Uh, Australia tends to make wines of uh, a bigger style, a little bit more alcohol and um, you know bigger on the palate, and then um, uh, in this case a Grenache uh, from the Cote de Rhone I think would also do well with with a lot of uh, barbecue foods. Um, the other thing obviously is you know wines you know it's a barbecue so you're not going to be drinking uh, Aubryon or uh, DRC. You're drinking wines that are going to be reasonably priced because uh, it's probably going to be consuming quite a bit of it. Uh, amongst all of your guests. So, so there's plenty of wines out there under 20 bucks. Uh, these are just some quick examples of, of some uh, barbecue 4th of July wines I think you can enjoy. So thanks Mike, have a good 4th of July, and keep sending your questions in too. Tell me wine TV.